Here at Round Around Tape Transfers, our most desirable machine is the Akai 12-track format. These were designed originally in 1985 and came out as a kind of semi-pro home demo studio. They call it the revolutionary 12-track micro studio. And it was the dream rig for a lot of people who had been stuck on 4-track and 8-track demo recordings before. 12 channels is a lot, and the sound quality was pretty good. These worked with videotape type cartridges, but they are analog machines with 12 tracks of audio. And there's DBX noise reduction built in permanently. Every track has it, so the sound is pretty warm and fat with almost no tape hiss at all. The cassettes had 10 minutes of time at high speed and 20 minutes when running at low speed at slightly reduced quality. We have the original MG1212, which is the unit with the mixer built in, 12 channels on mixing and EQ and then the recorder built in on the right hand side. There's also a later 1214 which had the white or cream finish. And then we use for our transfers the MG14D which is the rack mount. It eliminates all the mixer and extraneous circuitry and just has a high quality transport. It is a fairly complicated videotape type transport and cassette but actually uses analog tape for audio. We think there are very few machines left in the world that still function. Most of these machines have been worn out, certainly not working. So it's a good time to get these tapes off this old format and into a digital format that you can mix and work with at home. The Doobie Brothers guitarist, Jeff Skunk Baxter, was their main demo person. And supposedly Phil Collins and U2 actually recorded some released material done on their Akai machines too. But everyone had them for demos in the 1980s and early 90s. Especially rock, pop, and metal groups used them. Cheap Tricks, Rick Nielsen writing and recording on his. Eventually, the format was replaced by the soon arrival of digital modular recorders like the ADATs and the DA88 systems. At this point, there are very few of these machines still functioning in the world. We've bought quite a few machines and acquired others. Most of them don't work and cannot be repaired. They have internal parts that are no longer available, and the complex mechanism tends to fail rather than succeed. Finally, we have a good solid working machine here and tapes have been sent to us from all over the USA and Europe even because none are working there. Our machine is solid and working well, so send us your Akai 12-track tapes when you can. We transfer the Akai tapes each week. For more information, check out our website, roundandwound.com.